water in Rayville again, and it's clearing up, but Fox 14's Brian Briggs has learned it isn't the first time, and one resident is fed up. Right, Brian? Yeah, that's right, Sarah. Rayville has been upgrading its water system to fix the quality issues. But residents questioning whether or not the work's been done is about as clear as yesterday's black water. And that water should be clean, it should be drinkable, it should be used for cooking and, and you know, household needs, but it's, it's not. Now, the water in Holly McCormick's toilet is blue from the cleaner she added herself, which is normal. But her toilet looked like this Tuesday. <laughs> The internet went down and our water system is online and once the internet went down then our plant went down. This caused the water pressure to drop resulting in the dirty water. The town has been in the process of replacing old water lines to minimize water quality issues. They say they have completed two out of three phases, replacing old cast iron and clay pipes with PVC pipes. Now, according to the mayor, the bad water issue should be restricted to those mainly outside of the city limits. However, there are some residents in the city limits that are also experiencing the same thing. We furnish water to individuals still with cast iron pipe. That's in the parish. And we still have to get funding to change those pipes, the cast iron pipe, to PVC. McCormick says these problems have been going on despite the repairs. We live uh, right next to the water tower here. There's obviously numerous pipes that run through our property that they would have to replace and fix, and nothing has been done here. And her neighbors and family will have to continue to alter their lifestyle. It's like taking a bath out in, in the Beth River because it's that much sediment in your water and it, you just don't feel clean and it's frustrating especially like i said for the older people who have to go out and buy water when they're already paying like eighty dollars a month or more for water now at this time there is no timeline on when phase three will be completed due to funding if you would like to report a water issue in rayville you can go to myarchimist.com that number will be provided there live in the media control center brian briggs fox 14 news thanks brian and